Rex has now been out for over half a year. Unbelievable, right? Well, your mind may be blown even harder than that with the rest of this video. So, let's go. The game's development seems to have started roughly three years ago, with the Discord server being created at this time. However, development likely started even before the Discord server, so it's cool to think about how long development has lasted for this game. You know YouTubers like Rogue Ordinary, Counterizer, LD99, and more, right? Well, LD99 decided to make a group chat a while back where we discuss... Uh, you YouTube things! Anyways, let's get back to the video. I tried to get assistance with them with this video, but it was, uh, not much help. What did help, though, was this mech image. It was allegedly posted by a mod once, and it could be something super cool for TDX, or it could just be a scrap concept. Hopefully we do see more cool mechs like this in the future, but I guess it's pretty cool as well. Patrol boat is the only tower to not have stealth detection on any path. Every tower has at least one path for detecting stealth enemies, but ironically, the tower meant for patrolling does not yeah. see them. The Neko Juggernaut skin hey, yo, what the was meant to be included in the game's release, but still has not made its way into the game even through countless skin updates. There are currently eight unreleased towers. The War Machine, Behemoth, Military Hanger, Slammer, Medic, Refractor, Attack Hilo, and Commander. It would be very cool to see these all in game one day, possibly with even more towers, but for now we're just gonna have to wait. I'm sure this might be the most obvious one on the list, but the creator of Tower Defense X, John Roblox, has his own YouTube channel he has posted on for years. He even played tower defense games on Roblox before they were a trend. The game makes tons of references to Chainsaw Man, including the Ravage enemies, Eradicator Mark IC, the Eradicator's head shapes, and even this emote taken straight from the show. The devs really must love the show. Just a warning though, if you're interested in the show, I would not recommend it to younger audiences. On the topic of emotes, all of the emotes have an origin. And if you want to see said origins, you can click on this video in the top right. Players who played during Tower Defense X's April Fool's launch during 2023 gained this badge, which granted them the sparkles effect to the Ranger Tower. This stays on your Ranger no matter what skin you have on, and is a pretty cool flex for these small selection of people. Not really much opportunity to flex though when you're using the Starter Tower. If you look down there, yeah, yeah, down there, scroll down, I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers! Feel free to subscribe before this video can end. As you saw in the thumbnail, yes, this game has no- If you want an explanation on these game's enemies, allies, and the main antagonist- Dr. Xenon, ahem, <coughs> then check out Roy- G Hold on, she's distracting me. Then check out Rogue Ordinary and Honey Tea. They both cover tons of lore included with the game. Finally, the next update comes out soon, this Friday, including the aforementioned Towers, Slammer, Medic, and possibly even the Commander with the Tower Battles collab game mode. If you want a good laugh or two, feel free to check out this playlist up here. Hopefully you didn't forget to subscribe earlier, thank you to my channel members, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.